Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mika Lauda, who is for a Vice President for Cybersecurity and Privacy uh, for Global Public Affairs for Huawei. Uh, and we're here for GSR 2018, which is the Global Symposium for Regulators. Thank so Mika, you. welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to start off by, it's been a, a long day, long pre-day here I should say, um, because the, the, the event physically uh, officially starts tomorrow, but today has been a lot of uh, talk and discussion and global dialogues here um, on various themes. I just wanted to, there was a lot of discussion here on, on AI and IoT, and I wanted to ask you really, why do you think that the, this global dialogue is important? Global dialogue is always important, that's, that's for sure. But um, of course, putting on those two different, totally different things in the same uh, sentence is already a challenge because IoT is something which is for everybody, and everybody is having that. So you can turn your, your refrigerator in IoT device in five minutes, but artificial intelligence is something which is in the hands of only few. And, uh, and of course, the difference, the big difference, what we have to now make in the, uh, the governmental uh, regulation point of view is that uh, we should be already now having a certain kind of baseline for the uh, IoT, so that we would be able to utilize the full competence of uh, and potential of that. However, artificial intelligence is me in needing future-driven uh, approach because there is going to be only few players in this crown who are really going to having a uh, possibility to, uh, to to produce that kind of things. And like uh, Huawei's artificial intelligence is already in in these phones, so that we have been providing Kirin 970 processor for millions of users already. So I already in that phase, since we are w once again a bit late with these regulations. So what is Huawei's pers perspective in terms of policy and regulation? Do you think that there needs to be more of it? Does it have to be controlled uh, uh, more closely? Or, or do you think that uh, people can self-regulate and uh, that the industry has, has uh, basically got enough uh, policing uh, that uh, it basically doesn't need, doesn't need quite so much? So how we are seeing is that first, of course, we are following uh, the regulation and policies everywhere very, very carefully. Uh, and of course, all our products have to be fully compliant. But of course, uh, of course we are seeing that, that uh, regulation is intervention from the government point of view when the self-regulation hasn't been working. So of course, that, that it's a last desperate move which is done when nothing else, uh, else is helping. But of course, private companies like Huawei, uh, we like to be in the position to easily follow the legislation. And of course, that very complex and conflicting regulations are driving the, the industry in very, very bad position. So we, are, we like to have a, a fair, transparent, uh, and, and uh, e economically feasible uh, regulations, which are possible to whole industry to follow. Now, obviously, Huawei is uh, across the globe. I just wanted to ask you your, your, your global perspective on this. How, how do you see the future, particularly in terms of AI and, and the Internet of Things? Uh, this is a good question because uh, what we are seeing is that, unfortunately, in the cybersecurity, there has been recently coming a new additional rail, uh, level and, and layer, which is called trade. And, uh, what we would be desperately needing is this kind of common rules, fair rules, uh, which would be applying for everybody and globally, and which would be making these kind of things possible. L especially when you are thinking artificial intelligence, which is based years of, of working, you can't change that kind of things in a few seconds. So there has to be some kind of continuity, which is predictable for the companies. There's been a lot of talk of bias uh, in terms of uh, artificial intelligence, etc. What's, what's your opinion on that? Uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, is, is, is headline level first uh, uh, saying. And uh, what I mean with this is that there is going to be several different artificial intelligence. And then we are coming in this kind of very interesting questions like what are the values, what are the ethical rules, etc. what you are feeding in the processor in the first base, because anyway, that when we are discussing about artificial intelligence and machine learning, it means that the same chipset can be end of the day good chipset or bad chipset, depending of what kind of environment you are placing that. 
and uh, finally just in terms of the the technology how do you perceive how do you see the the technology evolving that we're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis so technology is anyway evolving we can't stop that uh, happening but uh, of course that that uh, there is a, this kind of uh, thing is what we are thinking carefully in Huawei like good corporate citizen what does it mean what kind of things you are allowing happening what you are uh, things you are preventing happening and then we are coming also very interesting that that what are the, re uh, the, the liabilities or accountabilities of the manufacturers what we should be doing and for these kind of answers we are needing desperately guideline which would be globally uh, possible to, to achieve because anyway we we are seeing that internet is a borderless multi-vendor environment where we all have to fit in. I did say finally but I'll ask you one last question just in terms of this this event itself for uh, GSR 18 why I mean, obviously you've, you've invested the time to be here just wanted to find out to you what why is it particularly important for you to be here? Um, the, the, the simple reason is that I, I see that ITU would be playing very big role in the future in the in the cybersecurity and especially uh, preventing this kind of very challenging national rules to be the coming in power, but actually playing this kind of equal play field for everybody. And, and you are needing this kind of international entity to, to take care of that. So I, I, I believe that ITU is having a very, very big role in the future in this field. Well, Mikael Laudio, thank you very much indeed for sharing these insights with us. We look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the future. My pleasure. And uh, thank you very much for joining us wherever you might be. And please uh, log in and check in to uh, all our other uh, videos and podcasts on the ITU YouTube channel and the ITU SoundCloud channel too. Thank you. Thank you.